Hi ladies, it's Beth from Be Styled and it's time for another Tipsy Tuesday. Welcome. Today I wanted to talk about um, how to balance out all the basics that I've been talking about. The last couple of weeks I've been talking a lot about basics and neutrals and mix and match, versatility, all those buzzwords because I do think that's probably the most important. Um, and you know, I was talking about packing. I was talking about you know basic outfits when you don't feel like getting dressed the last couple of weeks. So that does those topics lend themselves to you know I don't want to call them boring because they're not boring, but you know your basics, your go-to basics. Today I want to jazz things up a little bit and talk about how to add one statement piece, one element of pizzazz. Um, one whimsical piece, one, one signature piece, whatever you want to call it, something that's not basic, something that's not necessarily even versatile, but something that's fun, something that, that shows your personality, your style aesthetic, your sense of style, and takes that basic outfit um, and brings it up a notch, makes it better, makes it not just basic, but good and better. And I think a good place to start is with kind of the rule of one. You know, if it's a statement, really there should only be one true statement, right? Otherwise it just gets noisy, okay? So um, when you're thinking about, and, and I, I personally am of the belief, you know, I don't get dressed every single day, but I try to get dressed most days. I gotta kind of practice what I pe preach. But every time I get dressed, and it sort of just comes to me naturally now, because I'm such a professional at this, is I do try to add one interesting statement piece to even my most basic look, or maybe it's not a statement piece, but one personality piece to, to even my most basic looks. And it's it's just kind of become a habit. So I want to share what some, some ideas for you. Now, the key to this, ladies, is there's no shopping. I'm not going to share links. Sorry for all you people who love links. I usually try to only show things that I can grab links for because I know that's helpful. But the idea with this is you're going to go scour your closet, scour your jewelry box, dig deep, ladies, and find things that you can put front and center in your closet. So the next time you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt or, you know, a, a sweater and black pull on ponty pants, you can, you can think to yourself, what can I add to this? What do I own that I could add to this that's maybe unexpected? Maybe it's perfect example. Let's start with, you're probably like, what is she wearing? <laughs> perfect example are these earrings that I have on. I am wearing, um, the, the basis of this is the fall, fall style system the formulas or the outfit prompts usually are pretty basic. You know, they're, they're, they're not revolutionary. We're not, we're not working crazy trend magic over there. But the, for example, today was to wear a chambray shirt. I'm wearing a blue Oxford shirt instead. Chambray shirt, I think it was black pants. I'm wearing my black peach ponty knit, um, ponty ankle pants. And then to add a color. Well, I didn't really, I, I'm, you know, mixing things up a little bit. I didn't do chambray. I did the Blue Oxford, and I added camel, which ironically is not a good, I learned not a good color on me. I do still love it though, so I'm being a little bit of a rebel and wearing camel. I balance it out by wearing this shade of blue, which I normally wouldn't put with camel because it's a very cool blue shade with camel, but the, this shade of blue is better for me, so it's closer to my face, so that balances out the camel. But the point of my story is, what am I wearing? I'm wearing these wackadoodle earrings that are not for everyone. I bought these a year, several years ago. From They are still in dot, but I got them in the holiday season. They're like holiday earrings. I think I wore them to a, a, a Lafayette holiday party in New York City, like in December. Um, so to me, they're 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 a statement earring. But, they're, but I think they're cool and I like them and I like the way they work with the camel. They're kind of a champagne color. Anyway, my very basic outfit is kind of fun and interesting with these wackadoo earrings. They're not for everyone. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're more of like a very small earring or small hoops. Maybe your way of adding a statement is just to wear a larger hoop. These are just skinny, 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 large hoops. So maybe instead of your studs or your small hoops, you go cr you go crazy with a larger hoop and that becomes your statement from your very basic outfit. Okay, so there's so I want to touch on different categories from tops to pants to jackets 
and um, accessories, jewelry. Uh, for examples from my closet that I can show you, how, that you can take inspiration from so that you can take your basic outfit, your jeans and your tee, your, your sweater dress, you know, whatever it is, and add one thing. But that's, that's the key is you, do, you wanna keep it to one thing. Um, and it's gonna be the, 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 it's gonna be different for everyone based on your style aesthetic. I mean, like the example of the earrings is one. Um, you know, for, for some people, like I'm also wearing a leopard shoe. So you might, you might say, well, for, if, if you're a very classic dresser and you wear very solid, you know, maybe you'd be wearing a black shoe or a tan shoe with this outfit. Um, because to you, leopard shoes might be a bit of a statement. To me, these are, these are just neutral. I wear these all the time. So they're not really a statement to me. Um, but if, let's say they were, for me, let's say they were a hot pink loafer. You know, a hot pink loafer could be cool with this. I don't know if I would wear these crazy earrings though with a hot pink loafer, because then it's like, what is she, you know, it, might, it gets a little noisy and you wanna have that one statement, carry the show, okay? Um, so at least, at least as you start dipping your toes into this stuff, okay? Um, and again, if you're, if you're a really funky dresser, you might, you might have more than one statement and you can carry it off and it works for you. Um, but take all those personal, things into consideration. Okay, so top. Let's talk about different ways um, to add a statement simply to your outfit. I could have chosen, when I think I probably would have preferred it actually, to put on, even though it's fall, and it, put on a, a lemon yellow sweater with this outfit. In which case, I would change out the earrings to like these um, silver with CZ studs. Because um, to me, the silver just works better with the blue and the yellow, but I would change out and put these um, hoops, I mean, hoops on, these kind of architectural hoops on with the, with the lemon yellow sweater and, the, and co the color becomes a statement because it's a little unexpected. It's a bright lemon yellow. It's kind of a fuzzy sweater. Um, I got this at Banana Republic a year ago or so. Um, it may, you know, it might be considered like a spring sweater, but who cares? It's warm enough. It's not that hot, not that cold out. So the color becomes the statement. And again, I would swap out the earrings for a silver statement earring, and I would swap out my leopard shoes for my gray, sorry, no longer available. They have them in black. They are the Franco Sardo Lug Sole Loafer. Um, again, this sort of a statement in a way, not really any, I don't think it really is a statement, but um, I just think it works with the silver tone earring and the, cool tones of my yellow and my blue, and then I would throw these on with my black, okay? To swap out the leopard, which goes with more with this cool, excuse me, warm browns and golds. I wear the leopard shoe. With the cooler yellow blues, I would change into the gray shoe or black shoe. But that's an example of using color to make a statement. Um, if you're, especially if you're, if you're a neutral girl, if you're, always wearing neutrals and navies and blacks and grays every once in a while it's fun to put a pop of color on keep everything else quiet and neutral and let the color be your statement um that's that's another idea for a top here here's a couple other things how about you're wearing a blazer you may let's say you're wearing jeans and a black blazer or, or a moto jacket you could wear just a white t-shirt you could wear a black t-shirt you could wear a, a a, you know, a cashmere v-neck sweater, and that'd be a great classic basic look. I would, or, you know, like a, a white button down. That's just a, you know, I call it the Jennifer Aniston look. It's just a great classic look. But let's say you want to make a little statement with your top, um, because in that scenario, maybe you would wear jewelry or something that, that made it a statement. But let's say you want to make a statement with your top this time. So you're wearing your jeans, maybe a pair of booties, and a black blazer or a moto jacket suede, black, color, whatever. You could wear a cami instead of your normal everyday t-shirt or shirt. Throw on a cami under the blazer. This, this is, a, this is um, I think, always available. You might have something. This, I just like this because it's got a little bit of something going on. It's got some lace and details. Um, they're both exactly the same, black and white. This is a, a BP, BP um, Nordstrom. I think they carry these almost all the time. So you're wearing this and, and you're wearing it under a blazer. So it's not like you're you know walking around with 
you know, everything exposed, wearing it under a blazer or even a cardigan. And again, it's just an, uh, as opposed to a tank top or a t-shirt. That kind of elevates it. It's kind of a, it just makes it a little more interesting, more fun, shows some personality. If this is your, if, is this, if this is in tune, in line with your style, that'd be another example. Um, here's another example for the chambray shirt girls. Here, a lot of a lot of people are like, well, I don't, I don't wear like button downs and collars. This is, you know, this is kind of a very preppy look. I think that that's why I think that's why I like the earrings because it's kind of balances out the ultra preppiness of what I'm wearing. You know, I've got like the the tail hanging out. I mean, this is just kind of J Crew preppy, which I do love, love, love that look. But I think I reason I like the crazy earrings is it kind of it's unexpected. I mean, normally you would expect me to be wearing a pair of pearl earrings, which would be great and very would be a great look, but this is like, mixes it up a little bit. And it, it just, it's just, I, I personally like it. Um, but let's say this kind of butt shirt's not your style, but you like blue and you like chambray. I picked this up on Poshmark. This is a Zara. It's a chambray shirt, but look at the, it's got like ruffles and, you know, it's a statement shirt. It's a very basic style. It's a basic chambray shirt, but in a very unbasic silhouette or style got ruffles. So maybe you have a shirt with, you know, the puff sleeves that are so popular right now, um, or a shirt with, with some ruffle detail. This is another shirt I have, blouse I have that has ruffle detail around the neckline. Um, I think this is, I think this might be a one shoulder or off the shoulder number, but it's got ruffle detail. So it's, it's the shirt becomes the statement and everything else can be sleek and simple, you know, black skinny jeans and black heeled booties would be, and then simple or cool earrings, like cool hoop earrings, this top becomes a statement. Um, this, this, you know, has got a lot going on with the ruffles and everything, so I would keep everything else a little more basic. Um, but it's, it just adds some interest. Okay, so those are some examples of tops. Let me see if we have any questions. Hello, everyone watching. Good to see you all. I pulled out this jacket. It's funny how you remember, I remember where, taking this to Denver the weekend of my father's funeral, and that was 10, 12 years ago. Um, and so and I'd already had it for a while. So this is probably a 15 year old coat, and it's a leopard coat jacket. Talk about a statement. Great story about this. This is why you need to listen to me, ladies, because this jacket, it, it, you could have, this looks like a vintage, if you can't feel it, it feels like I got it at. Neiman Marcus for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but I did not. I found this, it's apartment nine. I found this at Kohl's, honestly one of my least favorite stores in the world, I never go into Kohl's, but 15 years ago I did, and this was on the clearance. It was not only in Kohl's, but it was on the clearance rack of Kohl's. And I saw it, and it's not even my size, it's a medium, I, it, must have, it must have been practically free because I saw it and I was like, I have to have that. And I have pulled it out. I have lent this out. If any of my friends are watching, Sarah, friends have worn this. It's a great coat. It is a statement though. So if I were to wear this, I would keep everything else. I would wear it probably with, when I did wear it, I wore it with a black sheath dress. Um, I'd wear it with an all black outfit or all, ta all tan camel outfit, actually. Or I'd wear it with, I, I might, I'd probably put gold hoops on because these are starting to make me look a little crazy. I would put gold, my gold hoops on, and I would wear exactly what I have on if it, if it were cool enough and I were actually going somewhere. I would take my leopard shoes off. I would definitely not, not wear these with this. No, never, never. I would take these off and put on a pair of tan, either my tan taupe booties or black booties, and I would put this on and leave everything else the same with gold hoops. Okay, so a statement jacket. Check your closets for gems like this. You know, as long as it fits you and it's still, you know, if, if you buy things that are, you know, classic and styling that don't have, that aren't ultra trendy, they're gonna stand the test, test, of, test of time, especially jackets. So it's stuff for the only thing I hate about this jacket is the bright purple lining. Ugh, that kind of hurts my eyes, but you can't see it when you're wearing it. It's a great jacket. Not exactly in my colors, but who cares? Okay, what color is that shirt? It looks like a beautiful, a wine. This shirt is a beautiful wine. 
this is a great this this is another one of those shirts that i think i i, I got years ago and i think of it as like a holiday shirt but why i could wear this out to dinner now absolutely and it's and it 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 makes a statement it makes a statement easily um okay let's see any questions what color is that shirt that was a stella and dot shirt don't have a link for it um, although you could probably check like poshmark or ebay it was back when they had a line called mayette m-a-e-t-t-e -T -T -E. stella and dot they show up they those things show up on ebay and poshmark if you're if you're in love with it okay so we've talked about tops um now we're going to talk about let's talk about bottoms okay um and one easy way to make a statement with your bottoms is one thing that i i really love that i'm in the market for a, a new pair because my pair is like again 15 years old is the old is a pair of long full length wide leg pants call them palazzo pants and in in black and for this example i'm going to say black like a wide leg swishy long full length pant that you can wear with a heel um that you can wear with you know a more fitted top or, or, or a very simple top and then you've got the dramatic wide leg pants you might have those in your closet and you're thinking when am i going to wear i don't know how to wear them just wear them wear them and make and say these are a statement they are a statement um and I did just find a pair that I will post. I have no idea if it's any good. They're from Tahari. Um, and I found them on sale and they're a wide leg pull on pant. They kind of remind me of the peach um, ponty pants, but they're a wide leg full length. I don't know how flowy they are, but I'm gonna try them and um, I'll let you know. But you, again, you might already have a pair. Um, and a, so a wide leg pant is just dramatic and a little unexpected. Um, and, or maybe you have a pair of wide leg pants in a, in a pattern, you know, for the fall, maybe it's like a black and white pattern, um, something modern and, and, and cool. But if you do have a pair of wide leg pants in a pattern, then you want to keep, again, everything else simple and quiet, just like a black, simple top fit. You know, if it's wide leg, you're going to keep your top fitted, maybe a fitted jacket, like a moto jacket or, you know, a blazer. Um, and then with wide leg You'll see it now, you'll see all the young girls wearing like wide leg pants, long to the ground, wide leg pants with like white sneakers or flats, like loafers, pointy flat loafers and big long wide leg pants. You know, if you're, if you're younger and you're really tall, like 5'10 and over, then that can look great. But for the most part, wide leg full length pants are gonna look better with a heel. It's just it's just my opinion. It looks better with a heel. It doesn't have to be a stiletto high, high heel, but just a bit of a heel, um, either, even a kitten heel maybe, or a, you know, it could be a skinny heel or it could be a block heel, which is probably what I would do. It could be a booty, it could be a pump, just to get a little bit of height with that wide leg pant, okay? Another option, that is very fun, especially as we enter the, the um, holidays, although black wide leg pants or cream white, winter white wide leg pants, love that look too. Another option would be faux leather pants. I know, crazy. You all, you probably have them. I mean, everyone, everyone was buying those Spanx leggings. I never, I never fell for the Spanx leg, leggings things. I, I prefer like a real pant um, for, for this kind of, example so i have these these i don't know if they're even still available these are the peach dane pant if they are they're in the sale section they have faux leather in the front and then they're ponty in the back they're real pants they're zippered but these are dynamite like but but again these are to me these are a statement so with these i would i love these with i've worn them with just a v-neck dressy white sweater with some like fuzzy white sweater um, and black booties or black, yeah, black heel booties or like a black turtleneck or a black crew neck sweater. Simple, like a cashmere black with, and then instead of just wearing black jeans for a black on black, throw a little bit of texture, whether it's leather or suede. We have like black suede pants oh, or it doesn't have to be black. Maybe it's tan, maybe it's cognac. Um, but think about texture in your pants, leather, um, suede, have some fun and then go simple and classic with your top. I love like a, if, if you're a if you wear turtlenecks, a, just a cashmere turtleneck 
and leather pants. Whew. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And it's simple, but it's good. And it's elevated. And it will show your personality, if that is your personality, right? Um, okay. Let's see. What color? Let's make sure I'm not missing any questions. Just got a pair of wide leg pants from consignment. We'll need styling help. Suzanne, good for you. That had to have been hard to find, Suzanne. Suzanne is six feet tall. So finding wide leg pants that are long enough probably is not easy. Um, although they don't, you know, they, they also look great just, you know, wide leg at your, like that hit at the ankle bone too. They don't have to be hitting the ground like they used to. Um, you'll see, you'll actually see more of them being a little up off the, off the floor, off the, you know, but, so that they show your shoe. Um, and a little bit of skin down there is good. But so is the full length. You'll, that's a great look too. It depends on, you know, what you're going for. Um, okay. Talk about pants. Now we're going to talk about my favorite accessories because that's the easiest thing. If accessories are just, you know, it's easy. It's easy to throw on a necklace. It's easy, but it's easy also to get into the, only oh, one you want, to get into the habit of wearing the same, you know, same hoop earrings every day, same stud earrings, same paper clip chain necklace every single day. It, there's something to be said for everyday jewelry that you don't have to think about. I'm a big believer in that. But if you're wearing a very simple um, uh, outfit, maybe add some pizzazz to your, to your jewelry. Jan, they are the, called the Dane pant. You have to go into the sales section at Peach under, and look for the Dane, D-A-N-E pant, faux leather. Um, they're great. Okay, um, jewelry. So let me show you some examples of some funky things from my collection. Um, again, none of these are, are available. Um, I'm gonna bring out Dolly. I already talked about these wacky earrings. I'm gonna bring out Dolly for another example. Speaking of black turtlenecks, this is an old, old black turtleneck. Ah! Very well done. I love a statement sometimes they're called like a collar necklace this is forget the name this is an old stella and dot that i think you could probably find on ebay or if you're lucky maybe i'll sell it because it's not available anymore it's really freaking cool and i have worn this i love it with with a turtleneck or or a crew neck i love it on the on the material for some reason i do wear it with an open neck top but I do love it as it almost becomes like an embellishment to the top. It almost looks like it's part of the top. I have a crew neck black cocktail dress um, that's just, I think it's sleeveless, um, but it's just a round crew neck. And I put this on with it and it looks like this is almost part of the dress. Like it's, it takes this basic black cocktail dress and turns it into a really cool look. Um, this necklace, it's it's heavy, um, but just I want to show you because it has gold and black and it has like grayish navy. It is so my my message to you is when you see something like this, whether it's at a consignment shop or you know online, and it just speaks to you, sort of like I always say when you're if you're buying artwork or accessories for your home, you know how things just you see them and you're like. It just speaks to me. I love it. That's the time to just buy it. Buy the necklace. Buy the piece like this. If you can afford it, if it's, you know, reasonable and it's within your budget, of course. But a piece like this, you're not going to wear it every day. No. But it's like Mary would say, it's like having money in the bank. Because when you do want to get dressed up and you're wearing a black, maybe you're, maybe you're wearing that an all black outfit. And you want, and you're going, you're not just, you know, you're not just putting a jean jacket on and going to the grocery store. You're going out. You could take that same all black outfit and put this on and, and go out and wear stud, CZ stud earrings. I would wear basically CZ stud earrings with this necklace. You know, I definitely wouldn't wear an earrings like this with this necklace. I would let this necklace be the star of the show and everything else would just be quiet. So that this is just like, whew, and it's classy and it's sophisticated and it's memorable. And you know, when you're out at that cocktail party, people are gonna be like, wow, I love your necklace. And that's gonna draw attention up to your face. And 
Those are all good things. Okay, here's another example from a, con I'm gonna put it on Dolly, from a consignment store. Now I know I don't wanna be torturing you ladies with saying, but I want that necklace. I mean, you could try to find it, but my point is, do you have something like this hiding in your closet? Get, get the jewelry box out, dust it off, dig through it and find those pieces that, were, that are significant and that maybe you spent a little bit more money on I mean, if, if they were, if they were very, if it's co very costumey, cheapo looking, that's, that's not, that's not going to fly for this, these examples, you know, you know, like an example of that would be, do you remember in the early nineties, no, early nineties, early two thousands, I think that's when it was. Remember the bubble necklaces that everyone, you know, they're on Pinterest. I mean, everyone had, I think Jamie and I even sold them. You know, they were like necklaces with, with big stones, colored stones plastic or acrylic, I don't know, stones. Those were really, um, they, they were a very hot trend. Everyone wore them, raise your hand, you know, we did. They're called them bubble necklaces. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. Those need to go, those, I'm sorry, do need to go away, especially if you, you know, if they were like $20. You know, if there was a Kendra Scott statement necklace or Stellan Dot statement, statement necklace, chances are it's still gonna work. But I'm talking about the really, really costumey stuff that was great at the time that didn't ha doesn't have staying power. Um, you know, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie's making a great point because I, I want, that's a good point about this outfit. This outfit with jeans and black heel booties, I wear this a lot for my lifestyle. Um, you know, dark or mid-wash jeans and a basic black sweater and this, and a necklace like this. And then again, I would, I would wear black boots. It's fantastic. I love this because it has, this has a little bit of like a, grayish denim-y, it's got a little, so it just, it looks great with denim, but that's a great point, Jamie. Don't forget your jeans, don't forget your jeans. You can elevate your jeans too. Um, but I got off on a tangent, what was I talking about? I don't even know what I was just talking about. What was I talking about, ladies? Um, well, I'm gonna go on to the next, the next um, necklace. This I picked up at a, my message is to shop your closet, that's what I was telling. Go in your closet and find those things that are that are standing the test of time, that you can dig out and actually wear them. <laughs> Dust them off, untangle them. Jamie's, Jamie might remember this necklace. I got this at a very high-end consignment store in Lexington, Massachusetts, many, many years ago. I wore it to Jamie's, da Jamie's daughter's bat mitzvah. So Jamie, how many years ago was that? She is now 23, so it was probably 10 years ago. It's a tangled mess, have not worn it, more than a couple times since then, but it is a vintage, I'm calling it vintage because I got it at a consignment store. I have no idea where it came from. Crazy cool necklace that is layered, it's pearl, and it's like a, talk about a statement. I wore this to that bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah with just a charcoal gray, pretty swanky bodycon dress. That was again, 10, 15 years ago, but it was just a basic, a simple, charcoal gray dress and then I put this on and that was it you know no I you know very simple earrings I probably would have worn um CZ studs again CZ studs are if you're looking to balance out a statement necklace get a quality pair of CZ studs or wear diamond studs if you have them yes it was 10 years ago so um and it wasn't tangled when I wore it but see how that this 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 necklace is a statement piece Again, everything else quiet, but yeah, you could, I could wear this with jeans. I, mean, I think I'm just gonna do that the next time I, I if I ever go out again. <laughs> no. um, why not? I own it. Um, and it's almost like you'd, you'd wear a scarf, so why not wear this instead of a scarf? To me, to me, it's just, it makes more of an impact. Um, but it's, you, it has to, it has to make, it has to speak to you. This speaks to me. It, to you, you might think it's it's too much, or it's you're not you don't like pearls. That's that's the beauty of all this, ladies. Is it's all about individuality. So find those things in your collection that 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 may, maybe maybe find those things. I challenge you. I challenge you to find that piece of jewelry, or maybe it's a top or jacket that you feel a little self conscious in. You're kind of like, wow, this is a, this is a lot. This is this makes a statement. This is bold. And maybe it's a little bit out of your comfort zone, but you love it. At the same time, you bought it, so you loved it. 
Maybe you saw it in the store and you were like, oh, I love it. And your friend was like, just buy it. It looks great on you. It looks great on you. But now 10 years have gone by and, and you're, you know, feeling self-conscious. You're thinking, am I? You might be thinking, am I too old to wear that? You might be thinking, have I gained too much weight to wear that? Well, if it doesn't fit you, then you, you, you can't. But if, it, if it's a piece of jewelry and, and you're, it fits you, obviously, and you love it, take the risk, and, and, but make it the one star of the show. Keep everything else simple, basic, quiet, whatever you want to call it, so that it's co a cohesive look. Start with, and then make that the, the statement piece and just try it. Wear it somewhere randomly and see what happens. See how it makes you feel. You own it, you spent good money on it, you don't need to save it. Um, and it's fun to mix, you know, high with low. Um, preppy, preppy, preppy with wackadoodle, you know? Um, but, it, but again, make sure that, that it's something that you like. So I would challenge you to do that. Join me over in the Just Get Free, Just Get Dressed group. Um, if you're not in my fall group, join me over there and, and take a picture. It's totally, it's totally safe and fun. Got crashing noises above. Um, and uh, it, it, it's fun. It's not gonna hurt. <laughs> it's not gonna cost you any money. And it will up your style game. It'll up your style game, okay? So that is my message for today. Oh wait, but I have more. What am I talking about? I have more, just a couple things more. Bags, don't forget your bag. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm not much of a bag person, but even little things like a, a guitar strap, adding a, um, like how, seriously, I didn't plan this, but you know, I throw this, this on with what I have on and even with my wackadoodle earrings or if I'm just going, you know, maybe I'd put my hoops on, I don't know. Uh, this is this is a flirty finds just you know bag with a guitar strap that just the guitar strap ups ups it up ups the look okay um for like an everyday thing let's say you're let's say you are going out to dinner and you're wearing your all black look or your black and denim and let's say you're just going to a decently nice restaurant why not bring a really fun clutch don't save your really this was a this i love this clutch and i'm guilty i only was, was wearing this you know, in the holidays or carrying it in the holidays, it's like sequins, you can make designs out of it. But if you're going out to dinner and you're wearing a very basic black and denim outfit, why not? And like maybe my silver architectural hoops, why not carry this bag instead of just a black clutch or a black crossbody? Why not? You own it, okay? Um, that is everything. But don't forget your bags. Um, and have fun, have fun with clothes, have fun with what's in your closet. Play dress up every once in a while. You know, why not? Okay, life is short, enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching ladies. Um, and I uh, will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now, go just get dressed.